Hello gamers. I'm going to show you how to install USB to your Gen 1 iArcade. Thanks to Team Encoder and a custom arcade, you can now add USB ports to your Gen 1 iArcade. Not only am I going to add USB port to my Gen 1 iArcade, I'm going to show gameplay of Operation Wolf and Operation Thunderbolt in action using this mod. It's so easy. It's so simple. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and let's get it started. First up, turn your iArcade off. I actually went to the back and I unplugged it. Make sure there's no power going to the uh, motherboard that you're going to plug this mod into. So make sure you're disconnected from electricity. I actually went to the back and just uh, disconnected the power. After that, take out the screws. Got one on each side. Once the screws are out, hold your glass so it doesn't fall out. Carefully take your glass out. There's your USB special board. Literally just plugs in. Just like plugging a cartridge in your 2600. It's pretty much idiot proof because the USB connectors are on the side. So you pretty much, I mean, thank you. It needs to be idiot proof because uh, if I can do it, anyone can do this mod. Let's see if I can figure out how to plug in a USB. Oh, there you go. And they supply a second USB C cable, which I also connected. Run those cables out through the front. And I have the send in plugged into one of the USBs and the USB C cable plugged into the other one. Time to uh, check to see if I have a working send in light gun. Check my gate switcher. Shout out to Glenn's Retro Show for making this amazing mod that allows you to go from a four way to an eight way gate. It's working. This control panel's all been modded. These are all Samwa buttons. Power back on. I got my send in plugged in. Let's see if this mug works. Look at that. Working like a champ. How about that? Generation one iArcade using a send in. Time to slap my glass back in carefully. I actually ha had the screws in. I just had them a little loose so I could uh, put the glass back in. Hold it in place. Tighten your screws. Looking good. Make sure both sides are tight and your glass is in. And I'm going to try some Operation Wolf first. Let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah. Working great. Fantastic job, a custom arcade and team encoder. This mod is so easy. I'm going to recommend everyone with a Gen 1 I arcade. You want to have this. There's going to be more coming down the road that will use this special uh, mod that's been made to increase the abilities of your I arcade. You try it with the. Uh, Recoil on. We get the game started. Operation Thunderbolt running on a Gen 1. And looking good. There you have it. Couldn't be easier. You basically just plug it in and plug in the cables. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. It's been Papa Brad reminding you to. Stay legit. Hit the thumbs up button while you're here. Consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you. Later.